Here's how I use Acquia Dev Desktop. First, I use Drush to download Drupal. Then I move the Drupal folder that I just downloaded to something that's representative of the project I'm working on. For now, I'll just move it to something called Test Site. And I'll change directories into the Test Site. So now I can see my Drupal installation. The next thing I need to do is go over to Acquia Dev Desktop, go to Settings, Sites, Import, find that new Drupal installation, click Open, create a database for that. I use the convention loc underscore and then something representative of this site. So in this case, loc underscore test site. And for the server, I do the same thing, loc dot test site dot com. You'll notice that you have to use an underscore for the database name, but you can use dots in the server name. And I'll go ahead and click Import. And once that's done, it's automatically opened in my browser, and I can go ahead and install Drupal the normal way. And there we have a new Drupal installation that I can play with. It's pretty quick. And one last thing that I like to do is uh, go into the Sites folder. So I'll change directories into Sites. And I'll move the, uh, well, let me show you real quick. I'll list the files that are in site. Acquia Dev Desktop sets up sites for a multi-site installation. So that's why there's this site.com folder. Inside of it, I've got my files folder and my settings.php file. I'd rather move those into the default folder because it makes it easier to use Drush. I'll give an example. If I were to type Drush DL module filter. And then try to enable that using Drush EN module filter. It'll tell me that the command needs a higher bootstrap level in order to run. Basically what this is saying is that it detects both the default and loc.testsite.com installations of Drupal and needs to know which one I want to enable it on. If I were to change directories into the loc.testsite.com folder and run that same command, drush e in module filter, you'll see that it'll work correctly. Let me go ahead and disable that again real quick. and move back out of the site folder. So we'll see that I'm at just my sites folder. And what I'm gonna do is move both the files folder and the settings.php file from the site.com folder into the default folder, and then delete the site.com folder. I'll have to use the sudo command for this. So I'll do sudo mv site.com slash star default slash dot, which just means here. Asks for my password, type it in, and then I'll use a sudo rm-rf command to remove the loc.testsite.com folder. Once that's done, I can list the files and you'll see that it is gone. And when we head back to the website, I can refresh and the site is still operational because Drupal knows to check the default folder for a website. That means that now, in this site's folder, I can run the drush in module filter command, and it will enable, and I don't have to move into the loc.testsite.com folder. I don't even have to be in the default folder because right now this is the only installation that Drupal can find.